good afternoon. Welcome to the March Town Superintendent Town Hall. Today, we're, I'm fortunate to have Mrs. Cindy Long, principal from Frankfurt High School, and Miss Libby Pierce. She is a senior here at Frankfurt High School, and looking forward to uh, asking them a number of questions about uh, their time here at Frankfurt High School. I'd like to first start with Libby Pierce. And Libby, uh, what kind of activities did you participate in while you were here at Frankfurt High School? Um, well, from junior and senior year, I was involved in National Honor Society. And from sophomore to senior year, I was a boys tennis manager. Okay. And then all four years, I played varsity girls tennis. Okay, all right. So you've been pretty heavily involved while yeah. you're here. Well, one of the things why I wanted to bring you on today is we're, we're in the season of uh, uh, scholarships and where you're going to go when you're a senior the, the next year and and uh, there's a on, a on a parent end and on a student end that's a little bit of a scary process but it seems like you've been able to navigate that pretty well can you tell us you I understand that you were a finalist for the Lilly yeah. scholarship yes congratulations Thank on you. that that's Thank you. that's a big deal yeah well can you tell the viewers what process that you went through to apply for that scholarship and maybe some others well, like for like every scholarship, you have to have a really good essay. Okay. And I realized if you fill out the Common App, you have you have your essay that you fill out for that. And that essay is really beneficial because you can really just manipulate that to like really apply to anything. So like, people like get overwhelmed because they're like, oh, I have to write another essay. But really, it's just manipulating that really like final draft that you had, and manipulating that for those different scholarships. So it makes it really easy. And luckily, through like the counselors we have here, they'll send out like the. There's like it's a small sheet that has all of like the different scholarships and everything and also like getting those teachers that you can really reach out to for recommendations always helps as well. Okay. When you talk about the common app, what do you mean by the the common app? What is that? Well, it's called common application and it's for like all of your colleges. You can list all the colleges you want to apply to okay. and it has general information for that goes to like towards all the colleges and okay. there's like a general essay that can go towards every single college that you apply to. And so you're a senior this year. When, when did you start that process? Did you start that as a junior or when did you start thinking about applying for scholarships? Applying for scholarships definitely was towards the end of my junior year, just transitioning into the summer and everything. And because junior and senior year is when you start getting a lot more of those opportunities for those scholarships, but always to be looking for scholarships, even if you're a freshman, is really important too. For some of the parents who are viewing this thinking, boy, I want to be able to help my kid get, get a scholarship to be able to ha help pay for college, what are some of the things that they can do as far as contacting the school or talk, looking up on the internet to be able to help them with scholarships? Um, as far as helping for scholarships, I think just like being there to like help your students like because a lot of people for me It's really hard to talk about myself okay. But for those scholarships you kind of have to like quote unquote sell yourself because mm -hmm. you're also in the, that pool with all these different students so You really have to set yourself apart from those people and your parents normally pick up on qualities that you never really thought of before Okay, all right and, and since Mrs. Long is here, Mrs. Long, you guys host a uh, FAFSA night throughout the year. Do you know, host a couple of those to be able to help parents fill out their FAFSA? We do. Form? We do. We recognize that the, the financial piece is, is difficult sometimes, and just to have somebody on the spot that can answer those questions, we usually have that as a bilingual opportunity. Um, obviously, we want to be able to foster success for all of our kids, and yeah. we understand that the FAFSA is a lot of times the, the toughest piece. Okay, thank you. Well, uh, Libby, what are your post-secondary plans? What do you intend on uh, doing uh, next year after you graduate uh, from Frankfurt High School? Well, I look forward to going to Purdue okay. and being part of their engineering program. Okay. And I'm really excited because through doing the different things for scholarships, I was able to become a Lilly Scholar at Purdue. Okay. So I get to do an internship my sophomore year, so I'm really looking forward to that. And may I ask, what scholarships did you have you received so far that you know about? Um, so, um, in addition to applying for the, like the Lilly Scholarship for the community, um, my counselor reached out to me and said that there's a Lilly Scholarship for Purdue. So I jumped on that real quick, uh -huh. and I got it. Wow! And so Congratulations. It's a full tuition, which wow. is really exciting, and uh -huh. then I get that internship. So it's just it's really exciting. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking. I mean, it's it's a. Uh, what a good uh, ten thousand dollars a year just for tuition at yeah. Purdue. So it pays for your tuition and room and board too, or, or no, just tuition. Tuition, but yeah. boy, congratulations on that. That's that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Could you, if if you were to talk to an incoming eighth grader, so we've got our eighth graders getting ready to come mm -hmm. over next year, 
What advice would you give that eighth grader as they get ready to start their high school experience and helping them prepare for when they graduate from high school, what's next? So yeah. what would you tell, what advice would you give? It's definitely a big transition from middle school to high school. Um, I would say you have a lot more independence as a freshman and especially because that transition, but I feel like the most important thing is I remember my sister, she kind of fell behind like freshman year and she told me, she's like, you just need to be on top of things. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's hard for people because especially you have more of that independence, so you're, you have to advocate for yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to be, not be afraid to answer, ask questions, you know, you just have to stay on top of everything. Yeah. I tell my son that all the time. He's a Purdue student. And, and when you leave high school and you get into college, you don't have parents advocating for you anymore. Yeah. And so I think that's great advice to give an eighth grader coming in to give anyone that you want to advocate for yourself. That's that's key. So mm -hmm. thank you, Libby, for coming thank on you. today. I appreciate you being part of uh, Town Hall and uh, letting our viewers know because there's some apprehension about applying for scholarships and being able to pay for college and there's a lot of scholarships out there. One thing I do want to ask you, uh, who, who else can they seek out here at the, at the high school or in the community to be able to um, give you ideas about the different scholarships out there? Um, our counselors, really great for support and everything because I've been there down multiple times saying like I have a question over this scholarship or so and also just having those like adults like building those relationships with those teachers because there's always going to be that one teacher that you know that you can go to about stuff and right. I've gone to like the same teacher multiple times to write me a recommendation and she always complies and it's just it's been a really nice just because you'll be able to always have an adult that can support you and just you can go to ask for questions. And it's about advocating for yourself, yeah. right? Not being afraid to do yeah. that. So it's okay. Well, thank you, Libby, thank for you. coming on. We're going to take a break now and go to Farley's Frankfurt Fun Facts. And when we come back, I'll be with Mrs. Long talking to her about her time here at Frankfurt High School. Welcome back to Farley's Fun Facts. Each year, districts across 12 counties can compete at the annual science fair at Purdue University. In total, 450 to 600 kids participate in the fair each year. Brett Ray, our director of high ability, has taken students from Frankfurt to the science fair for over 25 years. During this tenure, our students and Mr. Ray have created a science fair dynasty by placing first in the junior division, which consists of grades seven and eight for 20 straight years. In that time, Frankfurt has also advanced a total of 63 projects to the state level competition. Those projects have won numerous awards at that level, including three times as runner up for the best overall project. We have also advanced three projects to the international level with the top 20 finish from Karina Castaneda in 2021. That's it for Farley's Fun Facts. Have a great day, hot dogs. Welcome back to the March Town Hall. I have with me Mrs. Cindy Long. So welcome to Town Hall. Thank you. Uh, great to have you. I have Mrs. Long on today because she has been a longtime hot dog. She'll always be a hot dog, but she is getting ready to uh, take a position with the Indiana Association of School Principals starting next year. And Mrs. Long, can you tell us a little bit about what you'll be doing in your new position next year? Absolutely. So I will be the Assistant Executive Director, and my main roles include meeting with our legislators mm -hmm. to talk about laws that impact education. So I represent other schools and other principals and help give lawmakers information about how what they're doing at the state house would come back and affect us at schools. And you feel a direct impact on, on legislation every year for the past 23 years. Right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. So we we know that um, what our lawmakers do certainly affects how we are able to operate schools and I want them to have a clear picture of what it's like to be a person in the schools attempting to comply with all of the laws that are that are subjected to us. Well so that's where you're going. Let's go all the way back to you've been a lifetime hot dog. Right. And uh, let's go back to when you were here in high school, what kinds of things were you involved with when you were a Cindy Schaefer, Schaefer That's right. uh, Frankfurt High School student? That's right. So I graduated in 1996, so I'll let you guys do some math on that. Um, when I was here in high school, I, I participated in a lot of things. I would say the most important things to me and the ones that I thought about highlighting today 
Um, I was a key member of our yearbook mm. um, with Miss McDowell, for those of us that, that remember those days. And I was also a swimmer. I swam um, through the Stacy Baugh era. We started when we were about six, and we all swam all the way through high school together. And I think that those two are, are really the most near and dear to my heart because mm. as I grew up, um, I ended up becoming the yearbook advisor here at Frankfurt High School for mm. quite some time. Okay. I ended up helping to coach the swim team. So those those small things that you think are just fun that you're a part of in high school oftentimes can lead to greater opportunities. And, and so they did lead to greater opportunities because after you graduated from high school and you went to the school down yes. south, yes. I, IU, right? Yes, I'm a you, Hoosier. You came back to Frankfurt to teach. Absolutely. So can you talk about your professional roles since you came back? Right. So I came back in 2000 after I spent four years down in Bloomington. Okay. Um, I came back, they hired me as an English teacher here, All and right. I spent 16 years as an English teacher in this very building. I taught every grade. I taught everything wow. from honors to AP. Um, we did some test prep work. We went through the change to trimesters and, and moved back again. So we got to teach a lot of really interesting content classes um, tied around some, some specific things. We had a short story and poetry classes. It was really fun. Um, after I was an English teacher, I became an assistant principal for one year over at Western and then another opportunity cropped up back home. So I came back here and was the assistant principal until five years ago when I became the principal. You're the principal. I think what it's important for kids to understand is those interest areas that they are involved in in high school, how those a lot of times lead into what you end up doing for your professional career. Absolutely. And you've done that. Yes. You have that interest in swimming and, and uh, English, the English mm -hmm. language and being able to help kids. So and you're still right. doing that today. Right. What are the most memorable accomplishments that uh, you've had during your time here as the top dog principal at Frankfurt High School? Most memorable accomplishments. You know, when I think about the time that I've spent all the way back in my teaching career, I think about those individual kids. And most often mm. when you see kids exceed their own expectations, because it's one thing for adults to say, we expect this. But for a kid to set a goal and to be able to move on and do those things, I've had students that have um, gone to the Air Force Academy. I have kids that have gone to med school. I have kids um, that, that have become really amazing parents and send their own kids here today. And all of those are equal and wonderful accomplishments. But every time you can see that look in a kid's eyes, and you know that look too, oh, yeah. when they know that they've done it, um, it, it's unforgettable. Yeah, it is. So what a, what a great example of, of, of why you do what you do is watching kids go from how, how they are in high school and what they can do with their, with their lives afterwards. So what did, are, can you share with the viewers some of your favorite memories as a teacher and or as an administrator here at Frankfurt High School? In, right. Any, any uh, favorite clips that go through your mind as you've been here? You know, I think um, first about my my swimming girls. Um, they were such a key part because I picked up coaching swimming when I first came back to, oh, yeah. to Frankfurt. Um, and I had those same groups. When you're involved with swimming, oftentimes you're the middle school coach and the high school coach. So I had a core group of girls that were with me from sixth grade to 12th grade. Mm. And just watching them grow up, knowing them still today, uh, going to their weddings, meeting their children. Mm. Um, it's, it's just really exciting to watch them grow and watch them continue to give back to our own community. So to me, it's always about those individual pieces and, and meeting kids where they are. Um, it was great to hear Libby talk about scholarships today just because I think about so many hours that we've spent with kids going over scholarships and helping them pull out their personal stories that really have them stand out. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what's great about Frankfurt is that individualized piece where we can help kids um, with whatever their their small segment of of success will be and be able to really pull that out. Thank you for sharing that. Um, what advice do you have for your staff as they welcome a new principal next year? 
be nice. <laughs> no, they, they will be. We have a great staff. Um, we have teachers and, and support staff that always want to make this the best experience they can for kids. And I know that they would continue to do that whether I am here or not. But, but I know that um, there's, there's some trepidation in moving into a new direction and mm -hmm. following um, a different leader. And I know that they will stand up. I want everybody, kids and adults alike, I want them to show them who we are as hot dogs and who we always will be and to continue to do what's right for kids. Because I was going to ask, uh, how about for kids? Absolutely. Same thing. Same thing. I, want, right thing. I want kids to know that they should, um, they should approach adults in the building, much like Libby was talking about with yeah. having an advocate. Uh, kids, kids should go up and introduce themselves to mm -hmm. their principal and, and maybe introduce themselves three or four times with their name because there are a lot of kids here. But, but even as teachers oftentimes move toward the office, we still want to know individual kids and their yes. success stories. We want to know what they're working for because it's so much more fun to root them on in the pool or on the basketball court or in an academic competition when I know that you want to go to Purdue and be a scientist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what do you want the community to know about Frankfurt High School? You've alluded to that a little bit in, in our individualization of, of kids. What do you want the community to know about this great place? Frankfurt High School obviously is a, a special place to me. I have spent my nearly my entire adulthood mm. here at Frankfurt High School. And um, I'm here for a number of reasons. One, because it's a great place for kids. Um, two, it's a, it's a great place to work. We have so many different offerings um, that kids can try out different things and see if they like it before mm. they head out into adulthood. Mm. Um, so there's just so many opportunities to get involved. Um, as we tell parents at freshman orientation and, and freshmen as well, there are over 100 smiling adults here every day. Mm -hmm. And I know that that's what um, I will miss the yeah. most. People are looking to help. All you have to do is ask. That's right. And like Libby said, her advice, advocate for yourself. Absolutely. Tell people what you need, yeah. and, and they will jump on board to help you every time. Well, Guaranteed. Mrs. Mrs. Long, you will be missed here next oh. year. We're, we're very excited for you and your future. Thanks for coming on to Town Hall today just to share with the community what you're doing next and just some memorable moments about Frankfurt High School when you were here and uh, some, some advice for your staff and students because uh, change is inevitable, but change is hard too. And so uh, we, we know this school will, will go, go on go, uh, well, but uh, we thank you for your time that you've, you've served here in this community. So It's been my pleasure. Uh, Hot Dog Nation, I hope you enjoyed getting to know Libby Pierce and uh, just very thankful for what she can offer our, our families as they look at scholarships uh, post high school of being able to get into college and get getting that tuition is expensive so getting that paid for and then thank you to mrs long for just sharing about her time here at frankfurt high school and she's just such a great advocate for frankfurt high school great ambassador for frankfurt high school and i know that won't end at the end of the school year next month i will have uh, in april i will host Chief Academic Officer Eric Farley. He will be here to talk about our 25-26 calendar as that will be a little different. We're going to be seeking some community input about that calendar next fall. So I'll have him here with me in April. So stay tuned. Next up is Roaming with Rhoda. Thank you. Mr. Lubke, you are on Roaming with Rhoda, and Mr. Lubke is their assistant principal here at Frankfurt High School. Uh, my question today is, where are you going for spring break with spring break coming up next week? Are you doing any, have any special plans? Going to watch a lot of college basketball, opening day of baseball season, and then taking our daughter up to Illinois for, to take her to Legoland. All right. Well, have a great spring break. Land, got spring break next week. Got any big plans for next week's spring break? Uh, just hanging out with friends and family. That's about it. Okay, we'll have a great spring break. And Stephanie, we got spring break next week, and do you have any big plans for next week? Uh, not really. I plan on resting up, okay. preparing for the musical since I'm part of the pit. Okay, great. So you'll you'll prep you'll prep for the musical coming up here at the end of April. Yep. Okay, we'll have a great spring break. You too. And Mitzi, we got spring break coming up next week. I'm sure you're excited about that. Any any plans for next week on spring break? Most likely just leave, rest, have a lot of work, and I work, I'm not going to 
practice and stuff after school. So. Okay, so you've got work, practice, and sleep over spring break. So that's good because you can't do that when school's in session, can you? No, you cannot. Have a great spring break. Ethan, uh, we're, getting, we're getting ready to go on spring break. Do you have any big plans for spring break? Um, I'm going to go to Comic-Con and then go to Florida the next day. Have a great time, great spring break. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Kylie, uh, next week spring break, any big plans for spring break? I'm going to Florida. All right. What part of Florida? Clearwater Beach. Clearwater Beach. We'll have a safe trip and enjoy your spring break. Caden, we're going on spring break next week. Any big plans for next week? Uh, just spending time with family, maybe working a little more, make some money, you know. Okay. Make some good money next week. Have a great spring break. Thank you. Aiden, any big plans for spring break next week? Not at all. I'm going to do nothing all week. So. All right. Well, enjoy your week of doing nothing. Get some good relaxation. Brian, any big plans for spring break next week? Uh, probably just, you know, chill out. You know, not do many things, but that's all, really. Enjoy your week of chilling out next week. What are your plans next week for spring break? Um... Probably going to spend time with my sisters and go to West Lafayette. And Nicholas, what are your plans for spring break next week? I'm going to hang out with my friends every day and go out to Turkey Run. Okay, enjoy Turkey Run. That's a great place to go. Tra trail 2. Yeah, uh, follow my TikTok, Nick Morales X. And Alexander, spring break next week. Do you have any plans for next week? Uh, I'm going to be playing a bunch of Team Fortress 2. Kinsey. And Kinsey got spring break next week. Any big plans? Working. All right. Where do you work? Kroger. All right. Go out and see Kinsey at Kroger next week. Have a great week next week. Okay. Gabriel, do you have any big plans for spring break next week? Nah, not really. I think I'm going to go hoop at the Y. All right. Well, enjoy uh, playing basketball next week. Jalen, any big plans for spring break next week? Uh, I'm probably just going to spend time with family and work. That's all. All right. Enjoy your family and work next week. Jewel, very, very popular social studies teacher here at Frankfurt High School. What are your plans next week for spring break? Yeah, uh, so spring break ends, it's Thursday, so we are hopping on the road Friday morning and going to check out Nashville, uh, Tennessee. Never oh. been, so I'm excited. All right, it's a great place to visit. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. Yes. What is your name? Jason Vias. And Jason, next week spring break, any big plans for next week? Uh, nah, I think I'm just working. Okay, just working. All right, where do you work? Uh, Pizza Hut. All right, Pizza Hut. Go out and see him at Pizza Hut next week. Give you plenty of business. What? We've got spring break next week. you have any big plans next week? I'm going camping and I'm going um, prom dress shopping. All right. Prom dress shopping and yeah. camping. Where do you go camping? Um, we're going down to, what's it called? Um, State Park. One of the state parks. Okay. All right. We'll have a great time. Stay warm. Hopefully it'll be a nice warm week for you next week. And Jaden, we got spring break next week. Any big plans for spring break next week? Just hanging out with my family. All right. Enjoy hanging out with your family next week. Uh -huh. We've got spring break next week. You got any big plans for next week? Uh, yeah. I'm going to hang out with uh, Los, Carlos. Okay. All We're right. going to have some fun. Okay. Have a good week with uh, Carlos next week. And we've got spring break next week. Do you have any big plans for next week? I'm just working. Okay. Where do you work? At Pizza Hut. All right. A lot of Pizza Hut people here. So have a great week next week. we got spring break next week. You got any big plans for next week? I mean, nah, I'm going to stay home, do my homework, and try to uh, just play indoor soccer. You're going to you're gonna make your teachers proud. You're going to stay home and do homework next week and play some soccer. Good for you. Have a great week next week. Thank you. Thank you.